Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk football. It is November the 3rd, 2019. The games are going to go off in a little bit more than an hour and a half. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I'm surprised. It's the day of the games. I am surprised that there's so many people, and according to reports, a lot of it's sharp money, on the Baltimore Ravens. You should be suspicious anytime people talk about sharp money. Right? I believe this New England Baltimore Raven game is clean cut in terms of who wins the game. Right? Just consider a few quick facts. Right? Lamar Jackson, as good as he is, is a second year quarterback. Right? He's a young guy going up against a Bill Belichick defense. Right? I'm sorry. I'm betting against young quarterbacks going up against Bill Belichick defenses. Also consider, I know John Harbaugh, and I've believed in John Harbaugh for years. I know John Harbaugh is one of the best coaches in the National Football League. Right? But this year, he doesn't have the defense. In fact, let's go further. This year, his defense is not as good as Bill Belichick's defense. How many advantages do you want to give Belichick in this game? Belichick is going up against an inexperienced quarterback, one who struggled in the playoffs last year, right? That's just a few months ago. That's less than a year ago. Then you're going to give Belichick the better defense in the game. Right? Let's add the wild card to all of this. Josh Gordon is gone. John Harbaugh and the NFL has not seen N. Keel Harry, the young Patriot receiver, play. They don't know how Belichick's going to use Harry. You give Belichick and Josh McDaniel a dangerous weapon. Reports had him looking great before he got injured. Great. Also, think about the Josh Gordon situation. He's placed on IR and already he's picked up by Seattle. Why would a team like the Patriots with the best record in the AFC let go of Josh Gordon, a wide receiver with whom Tom Brady had chemistry? Right, think it through. There's another new piece. Mohamed Sanu. Right? All I'm saying is the Patriots are adding some new pieces. I know Sanu played last week, but let's just say the Patriots have some new pieces that even excellent opposing coaches still have to spend time figuring out how Belichick and McDaniel are going to use them. And, of course, the last I looked, Tom Brady was healthy. You add it all up, and I think the Patriots win this game. But I'm not going to play games with the money line. Right? I see the last I looked, that money line was more than a field goal. I'll agree, this is a competitive game. Also, I don't want to fall victim to a Raven backdoor cover. Let's say Belichick's up by 10. Then the Ravens score a touchdown late in a game that the Patriots weren't in danger of losing. I don't want to lose that kind of bet. So on a money line, you're getting the Patriots at less than a minus 200. That by itself deserves a pat on the back. The bet I'm recommending here is New England to beat Baltimore. Let's remember, too. Belichick has the Cleveland Brown film, doesn't he? Cleveland Brown ran all over Baltimore, didn't they? 
because Baltimore's defense couldn't stop Nick Chubb. Baltimore's defense had problems with the play action. So you mean to tell me that I'm going to give Belichick an opportunity to play against a second-year quarterback with the better defense, with new pieces on offense that no one knows how Belichick is going to use, and I'm also going to give him tape that was successful against this Baltimore Raven defense. To me, Belichick's the best in the game. You give him this many things to work with, you're practically giving him the win. I like New England on a money line over the Baltimore Ravens. I don't care what the smart money's doing. Right? Let's just do the math. Why don't we rely on that? Tom Brady, six rings against Lamar Jackson, promising, but young. Also, running quarterbacks, I'm hearing, reading, researching this game, people are saying, oh, Belichick has a problem against running quarterbacks. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Right. We'll see what happens. You might see Belichick keep Lamar Jackson in the pocket. I'm expecting Lamar Jackson to get sacked a few times in this game. That's how bad I'm expecting it to be. I like the Patriots here on a money line. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. And again, I'm making this video the morning of Sunday, November the 3rd, 2019. Thanks for stopping by.